it's lazy Sunday I'm drinking a cold mocha and I'm not sure if I have anything to say hi guys so this is a bit of a <laughs> There's not much to say. I it's half term this week here. It's been half term here in the UK. We have been making um, basilisks out of clay. Various amounts of success or failure. You may have seen some posts on social media. You may not. Um, there's not much. I did lose my rag the other day. Came home from work. The dog had got his way into my bedroom. Now I have my desk set up in the corner of my bedroom, and as part of that, I have a Dolce Gusto machine on there. And the annoying little gate. Here, my son's screeching at me now. The annoying little gate had broken into my room, and had proceeded to chew on forty coffee pods. Which turns out makes a spaniel that's already hyper completely bloody lo loony. He was literally bouncing off the walls. Um, there was coffee everywhere. He'd managed to, I don't even know how he'd managed to do it because it was like he was just coffee coloured from his halfway down his legs. He'd gone over my bed, all the bedding had to be changed to be put in the wash. He'd chewed everything up, he'd wrecked everything off my desk, get into the coffee pods. Um, just totally trashed the place. He he has a very dodgy stomach for a day or two. Um, he also seems to have eaten a unicorn. I had a unicorn snow globe on my desk, a little tiny one. And I found glass and glitter on the floor. What I haven't found is the unicorn and the base for it. Um, so it looks like he ate a unicorn. Which that should really be the title of this, shouldn't it? My dog ate my unicorn. Um, he's very, very naughty at times. He, And it's not that he's not trained, because he is. And it's not that he's not fed, because he is. He just is greedy. And there's certain things where he's like a junkie. Coffee and chocolate being two of them. Luckily, I had been making swag bags and I had put the lid back on properly, all the swag boxes, because otherwise he would have eaten 500 chocolate hearts and that on top of the coffee may have actually done him some serious damage. Um, he also has a cast iron stomach and can just about swallow anything. Although unfortunately it also means he produces toxic gas out of the other end, which isn't pleasant to be around. And he has a habit of walking into a room, farting at you, and then walking straight back out again. Even he can't stand the smell. So, that's been my week. I have been scrubbing the floor trying to get dribbled coffee grounds and stuff out of it. Um, I've been clearing up all the mess he made. I have been crying over my missing unicorn. And I've started packing ready for Leeds next weekend. Which, next week, I'm not sure if there will be a lazy Sunday. Because obviously I will be coming back from Leeds. Um, I might do a Facebook Live instead. I might do that in the evening. I will try and put up a post and let you know if I decide I'm going to do it that way. Um, but yeah, I've had Valentine's Day since I last spoke to you. Did I get a Valentine's card? Yes. Am I ready to tell you anything? No. Um, it's just somebody I've met for coffee a couple of times. Nothing serious, nothing. We'll see. That's that's how I feel right now. It's just like, we'll see. Um, 
Not going to get my hopes up. Not even sure if it's the right person for me. Um, we do get on and there is ridiculous chemistry. But there's also other things that I'm not sure. But we shall see. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Um, it was nice to receive a card and also he'd actually put thought into the card that he bought me, which was nice as well. It wasn't just like the first one or the biggest one or it was actually there was some logical thought behind it. So I'm gonna get off and see you all next week. <laughs>